Welcome to Southwest Hot Chefs and Restaurants. I'm your host, Ginger T-Rex. Today, my co-host, Richard Holcomb, is going to be visiting the nice people at Cervantes Restaurant. He's going to be with Roberta and Iris. And later in the show, I'm going to be cooking with Ariane, who is with Cervantes product line. And I cannot wait to see what she's going to cook up. But first, let's go take a look at the restaurant. Consistently ranked as one of the top five authentic New Mexican restaurants in the state, Cervantes is a must-visit culinary destination. With treasured family recipes and all natural ingredients, you'll love all the wonderful and healthy menu choices. So delicious and so Cervantes. Combine your favorites with Cervantes' exceptional tequilas and margaritas and voila, culinary perfection. Cervantes is a great place to come to see your friends, to have wonderful food, and it's a great place for family gatherings. You'll appreciate the takeout menu at Cervantes for a meal on the go, at home, and parties. Plus, be sure to take home plenty of Cervantes award-winning red and green chili and salsas for lunch, dinner, drinks, parties, and celebrations. Make it the one and only Cervantes, authentic New Mexico cuisine in Albuquerque at the corner of San Pedro and Gibson. One of my favorite trips every year is coming to Cervantes because Roberta always has an invariable feast for us on the table and I'm really looking forward to nibbling on some of this while we talk today, Roberta. Well, fantastic. I hope you enjoy all of it. <laughs> let's, let's talk right off the bat. Let's talk a little bit about what we have here. This is a stuffed sopapilla meat and bean, very traditional. Very, right? very traditional with red and green chili. You've got some chicken enchiladas. I have chicken enchiladas, and the chicken is made from scratch. We boil them ourselves and shred them up and make our own chicken enchilada mixture. And you always have, for me, when I come <laughs> here, my all-time favorite, the carne alivada. Carne alivada, made from fresh pork and mar marinated in red chili. Tradition, culture, cuisine all comes together here at Cervantes. Give us a little history of the restaurant. Well, let's see, I probably started about 37 years ago, and the recipes I have, some of them I made up myself, some of them were traditional from my, handed down from my grandmother. The last time that we were here, we actually talked to a lot of the folks who've been coming here since the day that you opened. So yes. you've got a list of regulars that's second to none, don't you? Yes, I do. Thank you've... God for regulars. <laughs> <laughs> and you have a lot of art in here, too. Yes, we do. I've collected this over the years. And in fact, the large painting came with the restaurant. And been here all of that time. All of that time. The bar's incredible. It's fun to walk through the door and be able to sample the best selection of margaritas that you'll find anywhere in New Mexico. What do we have today? We've got a traditional margarita. We have a traditional, and then we have a blue margarita. Well, while you're having a margarita, you need to remember, lunch and dinner, Cervantes is yes, a great sir. place to come. And I want to spend a little bit of time, too, talking about the fact that you cater. Yes, we do. All kinds of events? All kinds. Weddings. We've done. We've done a few weddings. We've done a couple of graduations. We've also had a few parties here at the restaurant, which are private parties. And it's not fast food. Never. But you can take it out. Absolutely. You can. We've got our uh, to-go menus and... You can call in your order and we'll have it ready for you. A wonderful place to come for lunch and dinner. A great place just to come and enjoy the bar. Try one of the many margaritas that they have here. Cervantes doesn't get any better than that. And speaking of the margaritas, we're gonna head back to the bar here in just a minute and spend a little time with Iris, who's gonna show us how some of these great drinks that you can get here at Cervantes are made. Well, I have been coming for at least 20 years, probably more than, certainly more than that. And I love the food. I love cheese and <laughs> It's all very tasty. Hi, I'm Mike Williams with Builder Source Appliance Gallery. And thanks for watching today's show. Today we'll be featuring our cooking in this luxurious generic kitchen. In addition to these fine products, let me show you some more that Genair has to offer. And Genair features a full line of refrigerators, but what really stands out is their slide-in range. Genair does make the finest slide-in range on the market today. Built-in microwave hoods mounted above, 
an extensive line of designer hoods and cooktops. But what really stands out in Genere is their built-in ovens with a culinary center that takes the guesswork out of cooking. You'll find an extensive amount of Genere on display at any of our stores in Albuquerque, Santa Fe, Las Cruces, and now in El Paso. When I come to Cervantes, the first place I had was the bar. It's my favorite place to be in this restaurant, and two of my favorite people are here with me today, Iris and Shirley. And Shirley is going to mix for us a great blue margarita. And while she's doing that, Iris, let you and I chat a little bit about tequila, okay? Okay. Because I know one of the things that you use in the margaritas here is Jose Cuervo. And there's a lot of discussion about Jose Cuervo, good, bad, indifferent, whatever the case may be. But you told me that it's really great in a margarita, right? Yes, it is. It's got a lot of punch in it. When you put it in the margarita, you can taste that alcohol that a lot of people are looking for mm -hmm. because the margarita actually will kind of take any alcohol taste away. So when you can taste the alcohol, you know you got a good margarita. And Jose Cuervo does good. And Jose Cuervo is a, a tequila that a lot of people choose to drink straight, but I know that you have other preferences than that. Not that it's bad, it's just different. So tell us a little bit about some of the other margar or the other tequila that you have. Well, we have a lot of premium tequilas here, as well as you know some of the other ones like Jose Cuervo. But we've got the awesome Bruso, which is very nice tequila. It's a very premium tequila. Um, it's pink in color, and the reason why it's pink in color is because it's aged in Bordeaux uh, barrels. And so it gives a kind of a rosé type of a color. Um, bottle's beautiful, just a great tequila. A lot of people like the 1942. One of my favorites. It's a very nice sipping tequila. Mm -hmm. This one right here has a lot of vanilla undertones. Your tequila has a lot of cinnamon undertones, but when they, when they kind of sort of have, you know, different flavors in there, it's kind of nice to sip on them versus putting them in a margarita where you're not going to taste them. And let's talk a little bit about the aging process too for tequila. And you've got some examples here all with the same face, very happy I might add. <laughs> but tell us a little bit about the aging process. Well this one right here is, is what they call ka. It's, um, it's a silver, this particular one. The silvers are not aged, they're just straight out of the barrel, straight out of the, out of the distillery, so to speak. This one right here is actually the reposado. And reposado means rested. And so they rest it in three months or more. And the añejo is aged. And aged is, is a year or more. Well, when you say it. rested, what does that mean? It means it sits in the barrel? It sits in the, in the oak barrels. This one sits in, you know, up to, I guess, up to your, your, your three, five months. This one's going to be a year or more. Well, I have to tell you that I am a guy who likes to drink my tequila straight. But when I come to Cervantes, I absolutely have to have one of Shirley's margaritas. And you made a blue margarita for us, and I want to try it. I mean, and while I'm taking a sip, I've always wanted to know about the salt in a margarita. Why do we put salt in a margarita? I think it enhances your flavor of a margarita. Myself, a lot of people ask for no salt on it. Could be health reasons, I'm not sure, maybe taste. But if you try the two, you know, one, one with and one without salt, there's a big, big taste in there. There is a, a big difference mm -hmm. and I It I is, did you salt. see that? I did, thank <laughs> I you for that you. insight, I appreciate that. <laughs> well. Now it's time to go down to Builder Source Appliance Gallery. And Ginger, Ariane, are you all ready to get cooking for us? Okay, well, I'm ready. Are you ready, Ariane? I'm ready. Great. So right after this break, we're going to get cooking with some delicious Cervantes products. Southwest Hot Chefs and Restaurants is brought to you in part by Gen Air, where innovation has finally caught up with your appetite for the extraordinary. Welcome to Builder Source Appliance Gallery in Albuquerque. Today, my guest is Adiana, and she's coming to us from Cervantes Food Products line. That's right. And I'm excited to work with you because when you come, it's fresh, it's healthy, and it's spicy and, and yummy. And it's fast. And it's fast. And it's yeah. fast. Yeah. Absolutely. So, what have you brought to make for us today? We're going to make carnitas with our Cervantes jalapeno salsa. Mm -hmm. So, what we'll do, as you can see, it's a really lean cut of meat. So, we're going to add just a little bit of oil to not completely cover the bottom of the pan, but just enough to provide a little Because that is lean. Fat. That is right. really lean. Exactly. And what we do is we like to trim things out. Yeah, because you know, healthy eating um, calls for trimming back on your fats. Yeah. It also calls for trimming ba back on your salts. 
and but you can still enjoy great bold flavors. Yep. Okay. Okay. So this is that we're on. Yeah. we're on. We're on. We're working we're in on. a Gin Air kitchen at Builder Source Appliance Gallery, and this one is so great. It's a slide-in range, and it's seamless. So you can put this in your that. island. Yeah, and it you know great for just everybody gathering around and being able to cook, kind of you know family style. Have everybody around. Well, the nice or thing about this. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I like this. I like this way better. Where I, I'm waiting. The nice thing is that you notice that the, the pan was just a little bit a little cooler than it needed to be. You don't get that big sizzle yeah. in the meat right away. Just crank it up. Yeah. And there you are. Now, now, we're, now we're cooking. Now we are cooking. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to thoroughly brown the meat. We'll add a little seasoning to it while we're here. Okay. What seasonings are you adding? Yeah, but just, you know, some very basic, simple seasonings. Granulated garlic. Okay. A little bit of pepper. And I like the little coarser pepper. Um, you can use a fine grind on the pepper, mm -hmm. but just a little bit. Okay. Just so that you have enough to season your meat. And what, Ginger, if you would help me. We sure. need to be warming up some tortillas. But you know okay. what? You haven't had a single sample of our salsa. Okay, I, last year that was my favorite part. You bring chips and salsa, you're the only one that does this, and you <laughs> have it right here on set, and I get to try it. Now, when you poured these, I think this was the green chili. Medium green, green chili? chili. Uh huh. We and have this a, was medium jalapeno. jalapeno. Okay, right. All right. And the difference really is just the type of peppers that we use. The jalapenos, we use two varieties of onions, jalapenos. The green chili salsa, we only use New Mexico grown green chilies. That's true for all our products that use either red chili or green chili. So. I can't decide which one I like better, so I'm just going to keep eating. Yeah. Enjoy. Right, again. Okay. And what I've used here is a, as we mentioned, a trimmed out pork roast. Okay. Pork now you, roast. Yeah, pork roast. Now that doesn't mean you have to use pork roast. I cut it in small little chunks. You can use a pork loin. And this recipe can be found on southwesthotchefs.com. Right. You try to make it yourself, and on your website on Southwest on Cervantes Salsa right. mm -hmm. you have a place where there are recipes, right? That people can use the products that right. you have from your from your um, product line and try them. But you also have a place where people can submit their own recipe. Right. I and love we, that. That we is really encourage cool. that. We encourage that a lot because you know traditionally we use our products for enchiladas, tamales, mm -hmm. you know, breakfast burritos, things of that nature. But you'd be surprised at some of the creativity that our customers have with our product line. Yeah. And so we've had some submissions that I never in a million years would have thought that somebody would incorporate our product in that particular dish, mm -hmm. but it works for them. We love the fact that they bring us new ideas. Yeah. So you know what? Let's add some Cervantes jalapeno salsa. Okay. We're going to add about a half a jar. So you're pouring your salsa. It's hot. It is not that hot. No. It catches up to you. It doesn't you. hurt. No. No, and that's we, just right. See, I like that. That's the that's the kind of hot I like. I like so hot. That's what happens good. is that when we mm. make when we say hot, we make items that are very um, easy on the palate. They're delicious. They have bold flavors, but they're not going to be so hot that you can't taste everything that's going on. Yeah, that's in how I like dish. it. It's not so hot that all you're thinking about is how hot it is. Right. You're thinking, oh, I taste the chili and the fresh tomato right. and the pepper. Like you really get a sense of the flavors. Yeah. Are you going to warm some tortillas yes. for us? Yes. Oh, awesome. Okay, so this is... You got to stay on me, you know. I'm, 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 you know, I'm okay in the kitchen, but um, You just I have like other chips skills. and salsa, so yeah. there you go. So we're going to let this reduce for a little bit. So easy. Yeah, so we're going to let this... And as you can tell, that's right up my alley. <laughs> easy is well, up my alley. Well, you know, lives are busy. Yeah. And we don't always have time to make things from scratch. This has, um, allows you to get dinner on the table quickly for your family. Yeah. And then, you know, you can have a little bit of time for yourself in the evening. Well, and the nice thing is, I have, I don't know about you, I'm New Mexican, and you have a lot of friends that move away. Mm-hmm. And they watch the show online or whatever, and they start thinking, man, I miss my New Mexico food. And they start calling you to send some to Yes. <laughs> hey, at Christmas, can you please send me X, Y, and Z? Right. But they can go to your website. Absolutely. CervantesSalsa.com. Mm -hmm. We have all our products. We also have some gift concepts. We have packages where they can get four jars, eight jars, mm -hmm. 12 jars. We have some smaller little sampler jars. So it is, it's a, really a nice place to get that traditional New Mexico flavor. Uh, for family and friends who live out of town. Send them the gift basket, right? There you go. Okay, you told me how to do this before we started, and yeah. you looked really confident that I could do it. Oh, I, I appreciate I'm, that. I am. I like that it. about you. You let me help. So this, as you can see, it's thickened up a bit, right? Yeah. Now you can let it reduce even further. Um, if you let it reduce even further, those meat, the meat really absorbs mm. the flavor of that salsa. Okay. But for now, I think we're good. Turn this guy off. And then, of course, these are soft tacos. We're using flour tortillas today. Okay. 
We can use you could use corn, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It depends on your own taste. Preference. My my mother in law is gluten intolerant, so she makes hers with uh, oh, corn. does she? Corn. Yep. Oh wow. Okay. There you go. Mm, okay. You want a little bit more? Sure. Why not? Why not? Okay. Now you want to garnish with a with a little bit of you said your cheese, cheese first, first, right? Right. Because it melts. Mm -hmm. On there, nice. This is a really generous plate. Healthy, but lots of lots of healthy food, you know. And I notice I keep putting more cheese on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going healthy. Now, All did right. you want a little bit more salsa on that? You well, know of course. It. Yeah. Okay, so we'll put a little bit more salsa on there for you, just yeah. so that you can have that really rich. You know, one thing about our uh, you want to do with our salsas too that really mm. um, brings out the full flavor of the ingredients. Put it in your refrigerator for about 30 40 minutes before you serve it up yeah you know just put it in the fridge and then you serve it nice and chilled and it really pulls out the full flavor of the tomatoes the jalapenos the two varieties of onions and the tiny tiny bit of cilantro that's that a good use. idea oh use a tiny bit of cilantro very little yep it's subtle it's really subtle well and cilantro is a type of ingredient that if you use too much it can be power overpowering mm -hmm. all right here we well go. there you go mm. Wow. Fresh, flavorful. Mm. It's the other white meat. <laughs> yeah, but cooking it in the meat right. and then adding the salsa on top gives it such just, I mean, beautiful flavor. Now that's not to say that you can't use a Cervantes salsa with ground beef, mm -hmm. with chicken. This is just one, one um, example of how the Cervantes salsa can work nicely with pork. I love having you on the show. Thank you. Guilt-free yumminess. Oh, <laughs> you'll come back, I hope. I will. All right. Thanks for coming. Thank you for so having good. me. So good. Got to try this one. Adian, thank you so much for coming on the show and giving me delicious and healthy treats today. That was really great food. You're so welcome, Ginger. And you know what? I have an invitation for you. Okay. As well as our viewers to come to Cervantes Restaurant. And if you can't come to Cervantes Restaurant, make great food with Cervantes Food Products. Yep. You can buy these in major, many, major, major grocery stores, right? Major grocery stores, natural food stores, and Costco. Yep. And if you want to try the recipes from today's show, just go to southwesthotchefs.com. And please join us again next week for another delicious episode of Southwest Hot Chefs and Restaurants. Ariane, thank you so much for coming on the show and for giving me delicious and healthy food. Well, thank you for having me. And if you can't make it to look at... Sorry. Oh, take your time. Mm. Wait till you see how many tags I get. <laughs> Ariane, I want to say thank you so much to you for giving me the... <laughs> <laughs> Just, I'm just tired. The words, but yeah, somewhere. Excellent. Well, we, we, I, we, uh, sorry. Today, my co-host Richard Holcomb is going to visit with R Roberta and Iris. I'm your host, Ginger T-Rex. First today, <laughs> Southwest Hot Chefs and Restaurants is brought to you in part by Heritage Hotels and Resorts. Robin West, an independent stylist for Stella and Dot Jewelry. Via Miriam Coffee, the official coffee of Southwest Hot Chefs and Restaurants. And Builder Source Appliance Galleries, Albuquerque, Santa Fe, Las Cruces, and El Paso. Southwest Hot Chefs and Restaurants is produced by Cliff Dweller Productions. Thanks, Frank. <laughs>